I'm Susan Riley, one of the core members of the gallery at Lake St. Lawrence Arts, and I'm a weaver. I'm Tanya Spicer. I'm one of the core members of the gallery, and I make jewelry, silver type metal, and uh, also bead weaving, which is sewing with beads. This middle gallery is used for uh, individual shows. To have a gallery for artists to come and be part of a community, and to have a space to show their work. The long range goal is to make Waddington an artist destination spot. Be supportive of artists, encourage artists to join us. And currently we have the Spring Into Art, which was called the Artist Show that we had to postpone because of the pandemic. So we were able to put it up this fall. It's a phenomenal amount of work, coming up with new ideas, being supportive of each other. The classes were a, a very big, big part of the gallery before COVID. Canyon and her sister Bonnie did a lot of jewelry classes, jewelry melting classes. Ink drawing, there's decorative painting classes, there were abstract art painting right. classes. I did a fiber class. We were really on a roll with that, and COVID has impacted on that significantly. We are a co-op gallery. The artists that have invested into the co-op invest their time and their energies, their art, their expertise, and we're always looking for new members. We have recently restructured our membership guide membership levels right to encourage more artists and eventually we'll have studio space in conjunction with the marketplace the clark house next door is in the process of, it has been in the process of being renovated it's currently filled with vendors who have craft items homemade soaps second floor is targeted to have studio space for artists. And then the third floor, there has been talk of making them into rooms to rent out for people coming for workshops for a weekend or a week. That is very much linked to who we are and what our long range plans are. I'm the weaver and I do wall hangings, I do throws, I do scars, I do a range of different types of weaving. Kenya and Bonnie are both jewelers. Carol Backus is an oil painter. We have a potter from uh, Rochester, the Lincoln. Fred Patchen is our um, photographer. And we just uh, signed on a new member, Bill Palmer, who is an oil painter. So this is Eric uh, Smithers and his piece is uh, epoxy resin. Uh, this is Jonathan Lalone. This is um, a steel sculpture with a patina, a seahorse. He was delightful to talk to about how he put this together. Uh, and he won first place for the um, gallery award. This is Denise Tomlins and She's a Waddington artist. It's a pastel. This is Stephanie Latimer. And it's an oil canvas. These are two watercolors by Cass Brown. This is by Eric Dryas. It's um, oil called Drops Bouquet. These two are by Ron Larson, and they are digital photography. These two are Jody Fox, and they are photography. These two pieces were done by a, a husband-wife team, Kyle and Nicole Smith. They're a young couple and delightful. So this is their very first show. They were very excited about coming here. This is by Elisa Carr, and it's an acrylic. These are two pieces by Tina Siebel. These fascinated me. They are by uh, Sharon Beelhouse, and they're knitted lace. 
the amount of time it took to do that is phenomenal. This is a Jeff Davis piece, and this is a watercolor. This is Bill Palmer. He's our new artist that just came in. And the piece over at the other end is uh, another one of his, which won Jurd Award. This is another Denise Tomlins. It's uh, pastel. And this is another Jeff Davis watercolor. This is Eleanor Morgan. This is a mixed media piece that she did. This is a Stephen Cobb. It's an acrylic. And this is the one that won the People's Choice. This is Eric Smithers. It's another epoxy resin, like the blue cell one we saw in the beginning. Stephen Cobb again with an acrylic. And this is the Leisha card with uh, charcoal. These two abstracts are by Sharon Carey, and they are um, acrylics collages. This is another one of Jonathan Lalonde's and it is an acrylic and pen on canvas. This is Cheryl Spadacini. She has dropped out for a while, but she does acrylics and lovely, lovely pieces. All the sculptures are Bill Lankin. He is a Native American. Uh, he is legally blind and has extreme vertigo. So all of his sculptures are done in a coil method. And um, they're very, very different from anything we have seen. This is a boucle mohair throw. So the mohair is in the warp in the weft. I love working with mohair. It's my favorite fiber. This is a piece, this is a brand new idea for me. It was yardage I wove to make a wrap and had difficulty with the chenille coming out of the yardage. So I mounted it on a stretch canvas and made a wall hanging out of it. These are pieces by Tanya Bob. Paint pores are, are mine. I use Kumohimo braiding technique for the handles and the decor on them. It's just something I checked out. This is a, a weaving, another it's a throw or a runner, and it's done with um, sari silk that I wove. Or the poles. That one and this one are by Isaac Snow. This is my very, very first garment. So it has, yeah, I was real pleased with it. And I, I like the back. That was pretty neat. Got a button. The photography, Bev takes a lot of photos locally. And then she does some traveling. She, take some from on her trips. This is Cheryl's and then the photos are Bev's. And she tries different techniques. This is, has a silver background to it. Almost like a shimmer. This is one of Carol uh, Bacchus's pieces. This is a brand new piece she just brought in. And that's the old town hall. That's a weaving I did. It's called 36 Shades of Grey, April in the North Country. And these are pieces of Bonnie's and Tanya's and the amount of detail in the beadwork is phenomenal. This is the piece that Deb just finished. This is a scene that she took in Alaska. This is Carol Bacchus again. We've done all of these of uh, Carol Bacchus's. She won um, at the Thousand Islands Art Center, the River Edge show. She won first place for this one, the Bulls. Her 
fruitables. And then these are Bonnie's bracelets. Amount of detail is phenomenal. And then these are Cheryl uh, Spadacini. She does a little bit of jewelry with the copper. Lake St. Lawrence Arts. Um, dot com and that would be l-a-k-e-s-t lawrence like st lawrence arts dot com we're also on facebook our email address is lake st lawrence arts at gmail dot com and the saint is spelled out in the address for gmail you also have a shop through the Chamber of Commerce in Canton. Some of our um, pieces here are online through there for sale. That hooks up directly through our website. The other thing that I think is important for the community to understand that this gallery and the space is also for them and to encourage people in the North Country to come and just check it out. It's it's really, really amazing, especially when from a show like this, of how much talent there is locally. And I can really appreciate it when you're able to walk into a show like this and see what different people are doing.